Okay, so these are really fun. Shady. Straight up. Also, uh, if you have any questions uh, during the presentation, uh, please uh, type your queries in the chat. We will discuss uh, at the end of our uh, session. Yes, uh, before uh, jumping into our like to showcase you what is within the designer. Designer of the design name, we have the microscopes for inspection. We have got testing and learning instruments for, you know, like microscope or specific multimeters. And we have got PCB, in circuit uh, uh, diagnostic solutions. And we have got programmers, logic analyzers, ARM um, compilers, and also we are dealing with our own uh, and it, Products uh, where we'll be uh, supplying to the universities. This is a, a quick uh, overview of a uh, uh, product range what we will deal with apart from the RTM. Now, uh, let us jump into the uh, uh, today's uh, discussion about the what's been so We are going to discuss about the uh, what null improvements has been done, uh, the PCB design, and also we are going to just, uh, showcase you uh, about the circuit based improvements uh, as we are. Uh, Telling from the since from Altium is not 20, Altium uh, is working on uh, simulation improvements. Now, in this new release, also they have come up with the new features uh, which will be showcasing you during the session. And also, uh, uh, coming to the schematic captive side, also they had uh, read a couple of improvements. So, uh, in the multi channel uh, uh, class uh, reference, class pro, uh, which will be showcasing during the presentation and have a demo. And uh, finally, we are uh, going to discuss about the what not data management improvements in Altium 365. As you know, uh, Altium 365 is a cloud platform. If you are under subscription, you can able to utilize the cloud platform without any additional cost where you can manage your data. What not improvements has been implemented uh, uh, in, uh, with the existing uh, version we will uh, showcase during the presentation on the and we are also having a demo on these uh, features as well. Now, if you uh, look at the uh, PCB design improvements, uh, now Altium has uh, implemented a support for uh, IPC 4761 uh, standard. Uh, this standard uh, it is a design guide for protection of uh, printed uh, uh, boards uh, via structures. Okay, uh, providing information uh, regarding methods for protecting bias and PCBs, you can select via type to ensure. It is protected according to the IPC standard. Uh, by using this new IPC 4761 VI type drop down in the VI types and the feature region of the VI mode uh, of the properties panel or the uh, VI template later of the sheet. This new feature allows you to pick the, uh, the VI type you require for the, your design and appropriate design uh, mechanical layers will be added to the design and also it supports uh, uh, same data will be exported. Uh, by the drive for example, the IPCP 581 if you are using IPC 4761 standard for protein bias. This is a new uh, feature uh, Altium has implemented uh, in the uh, PCP design side. And the next uh, new feature uh, Altium has uh, implemented is uh, this pad uh, entry and exist. Uh, uh, and uh, if you see, if we have a, uh, a small physical dimension scooting in and out of the surface device, it's often dense and complex. In previous version of software, uh, if the assembly rules could not be observed, for example, the required distance to the corner was not available, the router would fail to place any track segment. Okay, you can see a video of uh, uh, what is the announcement Altium has done. To improve the pad uh, entry and exit behavior, the, the following implements are available in the circuit is 22. Once the pad has been exited, the root is kept away from the pad. The software no longer allows the root to re enter the pad and the re exist without regarding the, regard the SMP rule. This is the new feature uh, available uh, in the RTM 22 where you can able to, uh, if you have minimum clearance, uh, you can able to utilize this feature. And the next uh, uh, improvements uh, in, uh, about the PC design is uh, now RTM supports uh, uh, counter holes. Uh, uh, can able to use it in your design, which will allow room for uh, screw heads. Counter seek and uh, counter bore holes are two types of uh, counter holes that allow for different types of screws. This release uh, introduces the ability to choose counter bore and uh, counter seek holes. 
the key difference between the counter sink and counter bore screws is the size and shape of the holes counter bore holes are wider and more uh, square to allow for the additional as you can see if you look at the uh, counter bore holes this is the having more uh, clearance and it will allow to place the washers and counter sink is there is okay except for this this kind of uh, uh, counter bore and counter uh, uh, sinks uh, Holes you can be able to utilize uh, in the uh, latest version of Altium Resonant 22. And the next uh, uh, improvement uh, in the Altium Resonant 22 is uh, it's uh, 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 including the complicated solder mass specifications so that we can avoid bottlenecks in the design phase and motor fabrication even faster. Altium has introduced new units to solder phase settings to help you switch by gradually. Fat size values in percentages earlier used to consider the values now you can able to reach the percentages enable disable the paste from your design rule and visualize the solder mask we have also included options to generate solder mask solder paste mask uh, file output uh, uh, for the two variants you have been able to generate uh, a solder mask uh, sorry solder paste mask file uh, for the variants as well you can have visualize uh, uh, your uh, paste layer in the 3d uh, you can able to specify the paste uh, Player in the percentage in the latest uh, version of the Altium version. The next point is, uh, as I as I told you in the beginning, Altium is continuously working on improvising the uh, circuit simulation tools. Uh, in this uh, release, uh, Altium has focused uh, in a number of the ability to analyze simulation measurement results, along with additional measurement types. A number of new measurement. Uh, features has been uh, added this includes uh, additional measurement types a new measurement type has been added to the list of the available measurements like measurement statistics display measurement results in the table a display histogram uh, you can see the right side and uh, drive plot from the measurement and add a new measurement of editing the existing measurement this uh, kind of new uh, measurements has been added but these two current these two features uh, like uh, this measurement and histogram view feature currently in open beta uh, we are hoping to available uh, to the public in uh, coming days. And next one, next improvement is uh, you know component health monitor. I think you know Altium has uh, come up with a new uh, subscription plan like Altium used to buy a standard subscription, Altium used to get pro subscription. If we adapt for a pro subscription, it enables you to uh, manage your uh, you know components uh, libraries in a cloud, which will uh, be able to uh, available to the all your uh, uh, designers who are coming to the workspace, there is no need of uh, keeping a multiple copies of your library. With this uh, pro subscription, you are maintaining your libraries in the cloud. Here, Altium has introduced a library health dashboard. This library health dashboard will let you know uh, what, what are components are having, uh, you know, object information, or what are components having uh, stock issues, or what are components having duplicate uh, parameters. This will be giving some uh, kind of uh, Health information of your libraries. Earlier, this feature is available in the uh, web interface. Uh, now, Altium has uh, made this, uh, this feature available. The Altium is in an explore panel where you can have to see library health in the web browser as well as the same library health of your components uh, and in the cloud can be seen inside the Altium is in a, uh, on the explore panel. This is one kind of improvement. And the next increment uh, uh, is coming about the, the schematic capture increment. Um, now you can add a uh, cross reference to the project, allow you to easily follow the uh, connecting flows of nets between schematic sheets in the project. In this release, the support for automatically creating and updating cross selection uh, cross reference has been extended for the schematic entry objects. You know, this feature is uh, uh, enabled for the ports. Now, in this release, this, uh, you know, this uh, cross reference. Uh, uh, option has been enabled for the sheet entries that means in the hierarchical design and it enabled the automatic cross reference sheet entries option on the options tab of the project uh, options dialog the sheet entries will be tagged with the uh, sheet and location coordinates of the corresponding port object on the child schematic sheet support of cross reference has also been extended to schematic pdf output an object is related to a more than one hundred object. Example, a port is not a sheet entry web on a parent sheet and port on other sheet. Clicking the object in the PDF output which show the list of sheets where it is connected and select the list of uh, list item to open the corresponding place. You can see 
the same uh, processes have been extended to the query of smart figure as well. You can see here this particular uh, connector has been connected to uh, sheet one sixty location, sheet seven sample location. If you uh, click on this sheet, it will show which uh, sheet you want to jump. You want to jump to the first sheet or you want to jump to the seventh sheet. This uh, advanced uh, uh, feature also has been extended uh, to the PDF outputs in the latest version of RTMS 22. And if you are under active subscription, we request you to update to the latest version. Or if you are finding difficulty to update your latest version, please do reach out to me. I will help you in uh, updating your RTMS to latest version if you are under active subscription. And uh, one uh, uh, community improvements uh, at the data management site is schematic uh, comparison. Improved design comparison feature in Alten 65 uh, let you graphically compare every change made your schematic. Now you can clearly see the additions to your design, who made them, and see any comments made by your team members. This feature makes it easy to keep everyone informed, uh, track progress, uh, track progress, and keep the design moving forward, all from the convenience of your browser or right in the RTM designer. This is uh, one kind of improvement. Suppose if you are managing your data in the cloud, uh, if you want to compare uh, the schematics, what not done by your uh, team, you can have to compare between the different versions and regions. And also, the same as the action to Gerber. Uh, this Gerber comparison allows you to compare the generated Gerber data for this release, against the annual set of Gerber data. Use the associated submenu to compare against the previous release fabrication data set from the all layers that you have made for the project. Suppose you have a uh, data multiple divisions, suppose to two divisions you have did uh, uh, for the PCB. Now you want to compare the Gerber with the existing release, present release to the previous release. You can compare and display the what are changes in the Gerber also you can able to see in the browser. This is the uh, and this feature has been provided uh, which will compare to the RTM PC file. This is a feature enabled with the RTM feature. Now let us see how uh, these features uh, help you to improvise your uh, your designs uh, by using Artemis. Let us uh, have a, a small demo on these features. First, we will talk about the, the support for uh, uh, you know IPC uh, 4761. I have taken a, a example board here, which is will found uh, the RTM um, Altium 35. Okay, so I have connected to the Altium 35, and uh, this project is very well. I'm pushing from the uh, pulling from the RT365. See, I have got a few bias. If I click on the via, and then I will go to uh, you know panels. I will just go to you know properties. If you go to the panels properties, I can see here there is a, a one uh, command has been added. via types and features uh, support for IPC uh, 4761, which is a design for production uh, uh, via in the PCP. Here you can see we have got different types. Uh, you need a tenting via type for tenting and covering. The tenting and covering in tenting also we have got two types uh one year one b if you want to more information about this one please support the ipc document guideline documentation ipc 4761 for more information uh, this is a guidelines help you to product your bias on your design okay uh, and you can able to select the type of uh, vi required and appropriate mechan layers will be added to the design and also the same data you can able to export uh, in the Gerber, Gerber X2, IPC 2581, and also in all the uh, layers, what we have added here for the IPC uh, 4761 will get automatically uh, generated in the Gerber. Okay, this is a uh, feature for uh, you know support for uh, IPC 4761. And next feature we are uh, going to uh, you know talk about is uh, support for the uh, counter holes. Counter holes, if you are want to uh, define. Uh, a counter hole uh, like a screw you want to place which is having a washer in the earlier design you don't have a support for that uh, counter holes now in this latest release the rtm has uh, you know come up with support for these counter holes just click on the you know pad uh, make sure you are in the latest version of rtm and then go to properties and you can see here if you come a little bit down uh, you will be to I'm sorry, Maroz. Uh, I may, I may, I may uh, talk a little bit uh, slow. Thank you. Maybe I'm talking a little bit louder. Yes. Uh, now, uh, if you uh, select the uh, pad and if you go to the uh, properties, uh, you can see there is a new uh, pad feature has been added. If you look at the top side, you want 
a counter core or a counter sink. You know, counter uh, thinking is like uh, to allow you to uh, place a you know you know uh, so like a screw with a washer. You can able to see what is the you know size and angle. You can able to mention and the top uh, bottom which you need what you need you need a counter core or counter sink. You can able to mention. I think the only one side is required. I, I believe or if you want to have place a one screw, you can have to use a counter sink. And then if you go to uh, by pressing three for three D. You can see the, uh, the counter uh, core uh, information you can see in the top and uh, uh, bottom. Okay, suppose you want now uh, to use a screw which is uh, having a washer. Now you have to adopt for uh, counter bore. Uh, that is uh, choose the counter bore and again uh, counter bore here by pressing three. You can see the difference between these two holes this kind of yeah uh, counter uh, holes uh, is uh, supported and uh, enabled in the uh, latest version of the material designer okay this is the one uh, announcement of the pc design ultimately supporting and next uh, feature we are going to explain is the paste uh, mask uh, paste extension we can able to define uh, the same uh, as a percentage and it can be utilized in the 3d uh, to do so for that uh, for the best method expansion tool just go to design rules and you can see here uh, under uh, you know uh, routing and if you go to the masking solder mask uh, sorry paste mask expansion you can see here if you want to use paste if you don't want to use paste you can check it if you want to use paste you can check it and here you can also see a support for percentage is added and here uh, we have two options if you do zero uh, the expansion value you no know, you can also see here what you see here uh, if you do the zero, the paste uh, area will be equal as a pad. If you do, you know, uh, you know greater than uh, zero, it will be, you know, bigger than pad. If you do less than, uh, less value, at least negative CPU value, it will be lesser than the uh, the pad area. Now, let us see, I am giving a lesser value. I just, I just do minus 20%. Let us apply and OK. Now, uh, this, uh, how uh, it, it display as I told, uh, we can able to visualize this paste mask expansion in 3D. Let us jump into 3D by clicking on 3 for 3D. I think you all know how we can able to uh, jump into 3D by clicking on 3 for 3D. Hold shift and right mouse to rotate the you know PCB and then go to panels and go to view configuration. Here I just uh, disable these 3D bodies and make this top paste and bottom paste. You can see here the difference. You can able to see the paste mask layer uh, on the pad. Uh, you can see now as I give a negative value, that's why it is lesser than the pad uh, uh, size. Now let us uh, uh, further. Uh, maybe you can maybe give it minus 50. Apply and okay. You can see the difference. Now it has been increased quite uh, compared to the previous previous one. That's what. Uh, if you do a bigger, uh, lesser value, then uh, uh, paste my expansion is lesser than the pad. This is the one uh, new uh, feature has been added. Uh, you can say enhancement has been added uh, to the uh, new uh, design of the RTM designer. Okay. Now, uh, next one, we are going to talk about uh, uh, one more feature about the adding the, uh, you know, cross references to the uh, sheet entries in the hierarchy design. I have a hierarchy design has been opened. We are going to now we are now discussing about the implements in the schematic uh, design. As I told, the simulation procedure is in open beta. Once it is available to public, we will uh, uh, you know organize uh, one more demo, uh, especially on the uh, two features available as on date. Now our team is focusing towards the releasing a continuous updates uh, on the RTM tool. Now RTM 22 has been released on 20th December. And now within the span of uh, you know, 20 days, RTM has released two uh, updates for the RTM 22. Now RTM is uh, in a plan that they're going to release continuous uh, updates and uh, enhancements to the uh, features of RTM. We will be uh, receiving a lot of features, uh, enhancements and new features added to the RTM in the coming days in the latest version. Now I have, you know, uh, you know, this is a hierarchy design. I have multi set uh, which you can download from the 
reference is the margin offset. Now we need to enable a few options to get the uh, cross references uh, to these uh, sheet entries. For that, uh, we need to go to you know project private options uh, under uh, options. Uh, we make it as uh, you know hierarchical sheet entries, port entries, and the uh, uh, port national port ports are global. And here we just uh, sheet number and location is uh, X Y and uh, automatic uh, cross numbers, uh, sheet entry and port option connectors and sheet entries. Just enable these options and then click OK. Now automatically uh, it will add uh, you know the sheet uh, entries uh, the port cross reference to sheet entries uh, to this particular sheet. You can see here uh, the sheet and the X Y. Or if you want uh, uh, this. Then you can see zone just click ok then you'll get the zone like uh, this zone like 4c means and the 4 sheet 4c like this you can able to do it like this you can able to get the port cross reference for the sheet and this as well and also uh, as i told you in smart pdf also you can able to uh, probe the uh, the connector with uh, the connection where it is connected if it is connected to uh, uh, a main sheet and a sub sheet and the schematic uh, the smart pdf you can able to uh, cross probe it uh, as well in the latest version. Now let us uh, generate a one smart PDF. I think you know we can able to generate smart PDF from file smart PDF. I'm just generating it from the you know um, this one uh, output job file. Just yes, select this output job file. Uh, let me choose all physical documents, function documents. Uh, generate the content. Yes, already I have generated earlier. Now it is asking me to overread. Yes, I said yes. Now we can able to uh, cross probe uh, in the uh, PDF as well. Like we will be cross probing by controlling, uh, holding control, double click uh, where it will take to the uh, where it's connected. Now we can able to uh, with the left click, single left click, we can able to from the top we can able to uh, select the appropriate uh, sheet uh, member and we can able to cross probe it. Let me generate it. Let us uh, go to the project. Yes, twenty first. Yes, I think it's opening. Sorry. Okay, now you can see here this particular sheet uh, is connected to you know uh, three sheets. If you take the mouse uh, under the particular port, you can see hand symbol. Just left click on it. You can see here we get a drop down which sheet you want to mention. Uh, fifth sheet, a second sheet, a third sheet. If you click on this one automatically to jump to the uh, the sheet where it is residing. This is a smart uh, PDF enablement where you can able to jump down to the uh, connections with the latest uh, enhancements in the smart PDF in the RPG. Okay. And the next feature we are going to uh, discuss about the uh, data management elements uh, in Alkin 55. I hope uh, you are able to uh, understand this feature as well. And uh, now uh, I think you know if you are managing your, uh, uh, you know, document. you can see this project I have connected to my uh, cloud workspace, and you can see this is uh, with my workspace, and it's under version control. If you are under version control, you can able to see the uh, history of your project, what kind of releases has been done, and what kind of commits, uh, commit uh, or changes or communication done by your team during the uh, design. Able to see by this uh, history and version control uh, option available. You can see this is a project uh, which I had uh, maybe cloned it yesterday, and uh, I have you now three releases. You can see release one, release two, and release three. Suppose if you want to compare uh, the Gunpur schematic with this release to uh, previous release or this release, I can easily compare. How can you compare? First of all, for comparing this feature, you need to have an active workspace. This active workspace will come uh, with the subscription. If your RTM is running the subscription, you can have to use this feature. And this uh, workspace will support from RTM 20.1 and above RTM designers. I can see it should be very much in the uh, workspace under version control. And you have to release your project data by in this project releaser. Once you are uh, releasing, this, uh, releasing the data by using project releaser, Automatically, this will push it to the cloud workspace. From there, you can able to share with your fabricator without uh, uh, sharing through offline. 
Now you can see I have three divisions. Now, so now suppose say I want to compare this curveball with this curveball. Let us say example. You can also compare schematic as well. So I'm just showcasing you the curveball. You can see uh, you can able to compare the previous release or with the release. You can able to uh, select. Suppose I want to compare with. Then automatically uh, it will uh, you know take to the browser and also the project owner who is the owner he will be notified with an email. Okay. Once after. This comparison is generated. Um, let me see this. I think yes. I think the browser is not yet open. Let, I have opened my browser. Let us see. Yes, now. Uh, I have opened my browser so that it will uh, uh, enable you to enable us to. You can able to uh, view the comparison in the browser. As I told, alternative is to the cloud platform. It's generating. I think I got uh, some two. I, I just uh, click it two times. That's why it is, uh, you know. Let us wait for uh, maybe I have a, a slow internet connection. Now let me try one more time. Yes, I think it's working this time. We are getting two. Uh, I just let us close one so that uh, you can see here uh, religious and the color code. You can see fabrication two and fabrication three, the data. And uh, if you can click on compare, uh, you can able to see where all changes it found. You can see this particular location, uh, fabrication two and fabrication three. So what is the difference? You can able to see. Okay. The reference to the like this, you can able to compare your carbon with uh, the previous uh, release or uh, with a, a particular release. You can able to cross verify changes with the help of Altium 35 new comparing feature inside Altium. Okay, this is uh, all about the uh, the new announcements and new features inside the Altium designer. As I told, Artem is uh, uh, now 